All right, well, the exhaust is slowly growing. This is a back section that George is working on right now. Back purging. i show you where we are with the exhaust at this point. So remember, I talked about the 90 and the 245s. Let me get further away, see how much better that looks. See, if I can get an angle better. There we go, you can see where it fits. That's a better angle. See where it fits around the gas tank now? And again, it finishes up perfectly in that cutaway. So I'm working on the bar at the back. Change the shape a little bit. I added a cutout one so we can tuck it up a little tighter and plus to add a little bit of shape. There's some space of pieces I'm making right now that bolt here and bolt there. This will send off and get powder coat. So it all kind of disappears. I'm not trying to make anything fancy and make it all gold and chrome or yellow. I'm just making it just kind of disappear. So that will be sent out here either today or tomorrow for powder coat. Don't lift it, it's heavy. I know it's heavy. No, leave it on the floor. Ah, jeez. Lift it from. from you gonna try and throw it up there, up upstairs next? Yes. <laughs> oh, you got more stuff coming? Yeah, it's heavy. It's heavy, but we're gonna open it. I don't know. It's from Amazon. That was a dead giveaway. Yeah. Or was it the actual the way you picked it up? <laughs> Let's see what it is. Do heavy. You, do, you, do you think they're both the same thing? Do you know what it is yet? <laughs> Detailed unboxing. Oh, I think oh, it was paper. Ooh, we Maybe. needed some paper. A box in oh, a box. Pretty water. So this is the food. Chain. It's pretty water, and this is pretty water right here. Pretty water is the best. It is the best. I feel like I've heard the term pretty water before, but what makes it pretty? Is it the color? Is it pink? You I think it's just no a flower on the bottle. Yes. Come uh, on, George. All right, let's get the other one. See what that one is. Probably more pretty water. This one feels fairly heavy too. Oh, look Amazing. at that. Amazing. Go ahead. I just make it look like perfect. <laughs> you reach it? If it is more pretty water, we are going to be awesomely hydrated. George is at his altitude limit right now. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yes! Wow. What is That's it? That's awesome. Is it the same thing? It's pretty yes, water. I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can see it with the camera, but I can't personally oh. see it through the lens. <laughs> Earth's pretty water, says so right in the front. Finest. Yeah. Awesome. Makes you everyone right. do this. Is it better? It's a finer tip point than a Sharpie. It I is. Mean, a Sharpie, it's like, more like a crayon gets it, you know. That's what we noticed. Plus, when you use it two or three times, the tip gets rounded. Yeah. The Sharpie, this works good. I mean, it's black, so they won't say nothing. I've been yeah. using red so much. <laughs> Report back in, like. They'll, they'll get off my back over the red Sharpie. Yeah, well, when somebody sees red, it usually means things are not good. Right. More stealthy, can't really tell too much. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're going to test them too and give everyone a feedback because we've been using Sharpie forever. You know, you know how Sharpie is. Sharpie to Sharpie. Yeah, well, I mean, so yeah, I got another one down here. I've been building stuff. And what's nice is too, I'll tell you what's nice is the red to stand out. Yeah, yeah you can tell, yeah. We lose the things all the time. We put them down, look around, and go. Yeah, because it's light gray and it matches the stainless table pretty good. So. Yeah, exactly. That one at least stands out the two colors, the black and yeah, the red. Yeah, be able to get rid of my whole bag of Sharpies I got on the truck. <laughs> one of these. Yeah. One more. Nice. Let's give them some more advertisement in case Milwaukee actually take us up on all our advertising they give us. The ink saw? Yeah, because everything they do is like saw saw and ink saw. Hack saw. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Ink saw? It's kind of cool. Be right saw. Marks all? I don't know if it works. <laughs> I don't know if it marks on everything. Or not. Yeah. I'll drop some of these off at the school. We'll find out at the end of the day if it's a marks all. <laughs> yeah. Give it to some five year old and say, use that around the house. Take that home, see how you like it. All right, here's our exhaust. Look how cool that is. It kind of looks like the old, you remember the old Greddy exhausts? Oh, the yeah. SP yeah. on the Integras that used to come down. And this used to be absolute mirror polish, so miles away you could tell you just got a new exhaust. It's kind of got that look. Are you bringing it back? You're bringing back the polish? We're bringing back the polish. Well, 
We bring back the 90s every 90s day. Are college. <laughs> the pro difference is that this is titanium and you can't get a mirror polish on it. Polish. Well, well, even if the 90s fell, I'm not going to run You're not going to answer it? No. <laughs> yeah, Nestor's not here, so the 90s is just going to ring and ring Surprise and get the voicemail. Covers will line up, <laughs> Momo shift or not. I don't know. Let's... I mean, it is... It is on the money of that cut right there. Alright. If it stays there, it and obviously we get the hangers on it, the, then we'll line up the tip. Yeah, this is a tight joint here, so it shouldn't be pretty, pretty decent. Yeah, that is perfect. I mean, standing right behind the car, it's right where it needs to be. Yeah, look at that. You couldn't get more room in there if you was to lower the car all the way. Look how close we are to the top. We could go ridiculously low. Not that we're going to do that because obviously the K-motors, when the K-motors are in these cars, the oil pan is low and it angles so that if you do hit something, the oil pan goes bye-bye. So, so we're not so into... we're not going to go straight hot boy with this one. Hot, is, th is that what they call now? Yeah. I am so far behind the times. I thought it was called dumped. Is well, dumped not good now? That's what you did before you went out for a drive in your hot boy ride. <laughs> so one of the problems with the little butt fan moving air around and then the air conditioning cranking over here, it blows you wherever you're welding. It causes a draft, so we turn the air and the fan off. Well, we turned it off for about 15 minutes and look how the temperature jacked up. Went up to 89 and just kicked it back on. So it, it climbed seven degrees in half an hour. So, yes, it definitely got muggy in here. Still building the exhaust here. Right now we're on hangers. The muffler is tacked in position. And we use titanium hangers and the factory Honda rubber mounts. So it's as close to factory as we can get. Obviously the mounts don't have to do a whole lot of work. The exhaust should be quite light. And the muffler is quite big compared to the little tiny ones that we do which you'll see what we are using as a resonator is one of the small mufflers that we've used in the past we have this muffler in 10 inch and then we have a 15 inch version but again this muffler should make quite a bit of difference we're coming up with ideas for the tip we're going to do a three and a half inch but we'll be and uh, the wind already. That's not the wind, it's the pedal. Is it? Pedal's yeah. messing up? Yeah. Here. That. Oh yeah, look at that. Pedal made you look like you didn't know what you were doing. Yeah. And the funny thing is you're wearing my mask because I don't want people to think that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I need a battery in mine. Yeah, George has uh, worn out his batteries, has used it too much. So Miller, if you're listening, we use your helmets, we use your welders, and then we've got three welders of yours. Look us up. Send us some batteries. <laughs> I don't know what it is, those batteries don't seem to last long either. It takes those two big CR2450s, I think. Yeah. Something like and that. they don't last long at all. Alright, so we got our tip on. This is three and a half inch, so it's not too big, it's not obnoxious. And we brushed it with a Scotch Brite to get you know, kind of a smooth color. This is from actually uh, sanding it to get the tip uh, flat across here. But I think once we take it off, I'm gonna burn this a little bit. Let me try and get where the light is better. And we'll scotch bright this to get this all smooth. And we'll leave this weld exposed, but we'll try and get a little bit of blue in around here for, you know, the dead giveaway titanium look. So we're gonna pull this down. There's a couple of welds have to be finished. I see. It's got all the factory hangers on here, and again, it's overkill because the exhaust doesn't weigh a whole lot. But by utilizing all the Honda hangers, we know that they're all going to do their job and keep the exhaust where it needs to be. Of course, on these, there is only a single mount here, but again, even after that flex, there's very little movement in this exhaust. So we're definitely happy the way it has turned out. All right, so I hope you're enjoying the series. We're trying to do an upload every day of as much as I can if I do uh, enough filming and edit enough and trying to keep the episodes, you know, eight to 10 minutes. That way it keeps it interesting and keeps it moving. So just give you a quick backstory on this. We are building this car for a customer out of the country and he gave us a list of things that he wants and he wants the car to do. Again, this isn't gonna be a drag race car. It isn't gonna be a one purpose car. We're trying to build a well-balanced 
pretty, pretty much like a, a vehicle that will do everything. You can drive every day, you can have fun on the back roads. We're not putting massive brakes on it, we're not putting massive suspension. It's not going to be massive horsepower. It doesn't have the wheels crooked for the car show, guys. It's not what this is about. This is going to be, again, a fun car to drive, a balanced car, something you can take to the road course, something you can take on the back roads, something you can drive, you know, two or 300 miles and not have an issue and, uh, you know, decent drivability. So again, a lot of people have uh, messaged and asked about what about this, what about that. So hopefully, hopefully that answers some questions. It's not going to be a one trick pony. Hopefully it's going to do everything. The only thing different than I would do personally is we took the ASC out because that's what the customer requested. Being in Florida, we need the ASC. It gets ridiculously hot here. It's, it's already like 88 outside. It's 930. Other than that, good balance, good suspension, good brakes. It's going to have decent power and it should be fairly quiet. Again, it's not going to be whisper quiet, but it's not going to be obnoxious. Obviously, one of the reasons we did the larger exhaust so I just found this little guy hopping around the shop. What sucks is we've got metal all over the floor and he's got metal stuck to him so I'm going to try and rinse him off real quick. Rinse him off, give him a quick bath, make focus, go ahead and release him. I don't know if he's a good frog or a bad frog but we don't want to hurt him. That's one thing. You don't really need a whole lot of assistance, right? No, it's uh, light. Does it still feel fairly light? Yeah. I guess we'll finish welding it up and put it on the scale. What do you think? 15. Yeah, that's the heaviest part. Yeah. That's probably four pounds right there. Those things are like a pound and, and change. Yeah, we'll have to get an idea. All right, this is one of the fun parts here. So the trick is here is to try and get it as even as possible. No pressure, George. No. Of course, the ASC is on, so the ASC is blowing on us. But the idea is is to you know creep up on it, a little bit of heat, and watch the heat actually go through the tube, and you can see the color change. The last one I did came out pretty good. But it's kind of kind of like a trial and error. And the best thing you do is start off slow and work up to it. Then you can always do more, but you can't take it away. Yeah. 